Hey everyone, and welcome back to our second episode where we are exploring new flavors. So today we're looking at an ingredient called vetiver in the form of paragon vetiver cordial. And this is a very fascinating ingredient. It's got a nice story behind it as well, which we're gonna explore a little bit further. And in this episode, we're gonna make a drink called vetiver underground. And vetiver itself is a plant which predominantly grows in Southeast Asia. It has roots that can go down as far as three meters deep, which we're gonna kind of play on in our drink, vetiver underground, with some other ingredients which also have links to being underground in some way. Let's make some coffee cocktails. So vetiver is actually a really interesting ingredient that I'd never tried, particularly in cocktails before trying this cordial. And it kind of flirts the boundaries between those big earthy spicy notes and then your kind of fresher, more fruity flavors. So it's got a pretty wide, complex flavor profile. When it comes to mixing this, the really nice thing is it's pre-balanced. So as well as it's sugar base, which is a beet sugar, we've got three different kinds of acids in there. First of all, we've got gluconic acid, we've got citric acid, and also lactic acid. And by pre-balancing the cordial, you don't need to add too much acidity to it or sweetness. It kind of bridges both of those different taste profiles. So it's a really nice ingredient to mix. What we're gonna do today is combine it with three different alcoholic bases. So this is a pretty boozy number, a little bit of coffee, a few seasonings, and I'm really excited about this drink. So the first ingredient in Vetiver Underground is gonna be our Paragon Cordial. We're gonna go 15 mils. And as I said, this has a really complex flavor profile, so much so that this is also used in perfumery. So this is a pretty prized ingredient and it's got a really aromatic profile. And if you wanna make this into something like a highball or a really refreshing soft drink, just combine this with either soda water or tonic water and you get a really refreshing long drink. So in our cocktail, we're gonna go with 15 mils and then two spirit bases we're gonna go with. Both have links to being underground in some way. So the first spirit is gonna be mezcal and the second is a potato vodka. So as we know with mezcal, the agave is roasted in underground pits, giving that distinctive smoky flavor and aroma. And this is gonna be our first spirit, but if we went 60 mils of this, I think it'd completely overpower the other ingredients. So what we're gonna do is split 30 mils of this with 30 mils of our potato vodka, also made from something which grows underground, potatoes. And this brings a little creaminess, tying in really nicely with that lactic acid in the cordial for that really nice creamy, kind of silky, luxurious texture. So now I've got a really strong, sweet, sour, earthy base to the drink. I wanna start adding some flavor accents. So one flavor that I think works really well with mezcal in particular is peach. And I've used this a couple of times recently. This is called Ring Quin Quin or Ring Kong Kong. And this is essentially a peach aperitif. So we're going in with 25 mils of this. And this uses a few different types of peach, brings a really complex peach flavor. And this is actually really nice with the vetiver. So we've got a kind of berry note in the vetiver. Berry, peach, really delicious. Spice also goes really nicely with peach. And then the smoky aspect of the mezcal, also very nice with peach. So this is a really solid base. We're gonna now add some seasonings to the drink. Three different ones actually. We've got orange bitters, saline solution, and vanilla extract. And you wanna add these on scales because they really kind of elevate the drink and bring everything together nicely. So first of all, going with orange bitters, three dashes, which actually work really nicely to tie in the coffee that we're gonna add shortly. We're gonna go one gram of a one to five saline solution, which just brings everything together really nicely, creates a nice harmony in the drink, and is one of my very much not secret weapons anymore. And then finally, 0.5 grams of vanilla extract. And again, this isn't a secret that I use this quite frequently. It just ties in peach really nicely, coffee, smoke, spice, all the flavors that work really nicely complement vanilla. So these are a kind of secret weapon, just to elevate in the whole drink. And then we're gonna stir this down with plenty of ice. We're just gonna strain this over a really nice clear ice block from my friends at Plymouth Ice Company. And I've actually placed a little beetroot disc on there. Again, just to tie in with our kind of earthy notes the underground characteristics, and it just brings a real nice kind of flash of color to the drink. And then to finish off, we're gonna float 30 grams of cold brew concentrate using ideally quite an earthy coffee. And this will just float around the kind of top of the drink, giving a really nice dramatic aesthetic. So this is actually gonna change the aroma of the drink. It's gonna give that really nice chocolatey, earthy coffee characteristic as your first sip. You get the beetroot kind of looking at you. And then as it settles, you get a very kind of subtle gradient 
between the drink. It's got the nice pink beetroot top to the drink. It's got loads of earthy flavors. It's got a load of underground inspired characteristics. And there we have Vetiver Underground. I hope you enjoy that one. So Vetiver Underground. Is this gonna be super earthy? I think probably. The first sip's actually really interesting. It tastes like kind of smoky dark chocolate with the coffee combined with the mezcal. You've got a little bit of the vetiver in there, but then in the second sip, much more sweet and sourness. I think the peach really comes through. The coffee's still there, but not as dominant because obviously it's floating on top of the drink. The vetiver is definitely standing up for itself. These are big old flavors. You've got big coffee flavor, big peach flavor, big smoky flavors from the mezcal. So having a cordial like the vetiver, which really kind of does its own thing, stands true to its own kind of identity, is really important here. But that is a very tasty, very balanced and very earthy cocktail, which I really like. So if you want to make this for yourself or pick up some Paragon cordials, I'll put the website in the description below. Massive thanks to Paragon for sponsoring this video. These have been really eye-opening flavors to play with. I've really enjoyed making this drink and I think you should make it as well. And if you've enjoyed this kind of thing, you can subscribe by clicking just here and there will be more coffee and cocktail videos in these boxes for you to watch. So give this a go. Better for underground, very tasty. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.